Hello and welcome to Sense Consulting's Maximo demonstration video series. Today we will be learning how to create a service request. First, we need to navigate to the service request entry screen. That may be done using the quick insert portlet if it is available to you. Just simply click new service request. If you have a favorite applications portlet, simply click create service request. If not, we will navigate using the go to menu. The go to menu is all right up here. Simply click go all the way down to the bottom and hover over work orders you will see this menu appear at the right then stay within the boundaries of the menu and come up to service requests and click this is the service request entry screen from here we will need to click on the new service request icon here your service request will display with a service request number being automatically generated. Let's scroll down a little bit and see this field. User information. We need to tell who reported this incident. So we are going to use Hunter and simply navigate away from that and watch the information autofill. Now we need to enter some details about this service request. It is always a good idea to provide a summary of your service request and some details. If you wish to use the summary long description field, you may use it here. The issue that Hunter will be reporting is a water leak under boiler 3. Now providing a little bit more detail we can say there seems to be a large pool of water and oil under boiler 3. Check elbow for feed water pump. It appeared to have water dripping from it. So this gives us enough information that the person who will be assigned the work order generated after this service request will know enough to fix this. Next, we need to scroll down to the asset field. Click the detail menu and click select value. You will see this select value menu. This appears when you are entering a service request. Be careful that the only assets assigned to Hunter are these three, but however these are not the only three assets in the system. You need to go to the filter by drop down menu, select all, and then click refresh. From here you will see a full list of all assets in the system. Now we can narrow down the list of assets from this full number of 698. So we'll click in the description field and type boiler. Hit enter. And you will see we have all assets containing a description that has boiler in it. We said there was water leaking under boiler 3 so come over here and click on the asset tag. and the asset has been filled. From here, simply scroll up and verify that you have details and user information filled in, and then click Save. Thank you for watching. Be sure to check back for more videos.